Hello everyone, welcome back to Foundations of Shorthand and we are now in our week 11. Okay, so before we move on, please have with you your modules and also your steno pads and your ball pen so that you will, um, your modules so that you will have a guide in your, in, in our discussion that we're going to have um, in this video. And of course, your steno pads so that you're going to write with me. Okay, so whatever I write here in this video, please write it also in your modules. Nang sa ganon, hindi doble doble. Well, what? Uh, kapag ka may sinulat ako, then you post it, right? And then you write it. Kesa naman sa panoorin ninyo yung buong video and then tsaka, tsaka na lang kayo magsusulat mamaya. So, that would be, um, kumbaga, time-consuming. So, as I write here in this video, please um, write there also in your stenopads, okay? So, ayan, for, I hope you have your modules and your stenopads with you. Uh, for this video or for this lesson, we're going to have an additional eight um, brief forms. And then, of course, when we have brief forms, we also have brief form phrases. And then we're going to learn the symbols for um, the tem, dem, blend. And then salutation and complementary closings. So, um, these are the, the things that you put in the letters, right? And then the beginning or words beginning con and com, like complete controversial oh. and then the second symbol for the sound of th di ba meron na tayong th yung over th which, which is um yung yung uh, brief form for the yung the that th yun natapos na natin now we're going to learn another th which is the under th okay so and then lastly we're going to um transcribe words beginning re Okay, so again, let's start. Okay, so for our sets of brief forms, set of brief forms, we're going to have about from, glad, after, street, with, missus, and of course, when. So for about, about is represented by your A and your B stroke. But ang pangit. Nangyari. Wait lang, ha? Ayusin natin. We have your A and your B stroke. So, that is how you do about. Next, we have from. So, from is represented by your F. Wait. Oops. Ano ba yan? Okay. So, from is represented by your F. And M. F and M. Okay, next we have glad. Glad is represented by your G. Nababaliw na naman yung ating pen. We have G and we have L. Okay, so ganyan yung glad. Madali na siguro ninyong i-memorize yan. Next we have after. So after is represented by... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about this, guys. Nagkakaproblema tayo sa ating gamit. Okay, so after is represented by your A, your F, and then your T. After. Ulitin natin. We have A, and then your F, and then your T. So that's after. Next, we have street. A street is represented by your S, T, R. Street. Next, with. With is represented by your E and your over TH. So, that's how you do with. Next, Mrs. is represented by your, of course, MRS. So, we have M and then we have R. M, R, S. Next, when. When is represented by your E and N. Kumbaga, N lang siya. E, N. Okay? So, that is how you do your, um, ano yung mga yan? Brief forms. So, now let's move on to our brief form phrases. Or brief form derivatives muna. We have our brief form derivatives. Ayan. 
So when you say brief form derivatives, these are the words that you derive from our brief forms. So since present na dyan yung stroke ng brief form, just add the sound that is um, added to the brief form. So for example, yung gladly, meron na tayong glad. So ano na yung, ano na lang yung i-add natin? Yung li, which is represented by our um, small circle. Okay, so we have glad. Ano ba yan? We have glad. And then we have Lee. Okay, so that is how you do gladly. Next, we have afternoon. So we already have the stroke of after. Now let's just add noon. So we have A, F, T for aft, afternoon. And then we have, ano ba yan? Hindi siya makita. Ayusin natin. Wait lang, ha? Ayitan natin ng konti yung size. Okay, so we have aft, A, F, T. T, and then we have the noon, which is N-O-N. N-U-U-N. Okay? So, that is how you do afternoon. Gawin, gandahan na lang ninyo sa inyong mga papel, ha? Huwag na ninyong, uh, tawag dito, pansinin yung aking strokes na medyo kweng-kweng kasi hindi gumagana ng mabuti yung ating um, electronic pen and pad. Af, wala talaga eh. Sige. Yusin natin. We have af noon. Okay, so medyo maganda-ganda na yan. Next, we have streets. So, we already have the street. All we need to add is yung S for streets. Okay, so we have S-T-R-S for streets. Next, we have within. Within. So, we already have the with. Now, let's add in. Ma'am, bakit ano, um, may I, di ba, in lang dapat is walang ano. Para makita na merong, that, that's within. Kasi kapag ka with, yung nilagay mo na with and then n, hindi mo madidistinguish na merong um, sound ng e doon. Kasi di ba, na-pronounce mo nga yung within, within, di ba, within. So, na-pronounce mo yung e doon, that's why you have to stroke it. Okay, next we have... So, that's uh, it for our brief forms and our brief form derivatives. Now, let's move on to our brief form phrases. I hope nakakasunod kayo. Okay, so we have our brief form phrases here. Okay, so first we have about the. So, paano yung, uh, ano naman yung tinatawag natin na brief form phrases? So, these are words that you put together in one stroke. So, yung about the, iisang stroke yan. So, paano natin ini-stroke yung about? It's A and B. It's A, B, and then the is your TH. So, that is how you do about the. Next, with you or with your. So, we have with, E, TH, and U. So, that is how you do with you or with your. Next, with the. So, we have with and you add the. Okay? Next, with our. So, we have with and then your our, which is represented by your R stroke. Next, from the, we have from, which is F and M, and then we have the. And then from you, we have F, M, from you. Next, I am glad. So, we have I am, I am, and then glad. I will be glad. So, we have I, and then we have will, and then be, and then glad. Okay? Next, after the. So, we have aft for after, and then we have the. Litin natin. We have aft, a, f, t, and then we have da. Okay, so those are our brief form of phrases. Now, if you were not able to follow anything or, or some of the strokes, please um, feel free to repeat it. Tama? Ulitin na lang ninyo, panoorin ulit ninyo, and then subukan ulit ninyo until you will be able to do it right.
okay so now let's move on to our new strokes so we're done with our brief form brief um, brief form derivatives and then brief form phrases now let's move on to our new um to our new set ah uh, no no new strokes which is yung ating sounds of them and them so this them and them are um anong tinatawag nila it's a blend it's a blend of tm tama ba oh no no, no i'm sorry it's dm it's a blend for dm okay so for example ano yung stroke natin ng d so, ano yung stroke natin ng D? So, our stroke for D is your long slanting line. And your M is your long slipping line. Ano ba yan? So, your M is the long slipping line. Nasaan na yung aking course? I'm sorry. Long slipping line. So, when you put them together, ang magiging blend nga, ba? So, dapat wala siyang, um, hindi mo makikita yung intersection. So, yung magiging, um, Stroke nito is, kumbaga, over TH na exaggerated. Siya, malaki siya. Okay? Malaki na over TH. Ano ba yan? Sorry. So, it's like that. Okay. So, now, para maintindihan, let's try... Um, Let's try the words. So, unahin natin yung tem words. So, when you say tem, it does not only, oh, it does not only pertain to the tem na word. Pwede rin siyang tom. Okay? Tom. Basta, t, tom. <laughs> tom. Yan, as you can see there, um, lahat ng tm. Hindi naman siya lahat ng tm. Pero yung tem and then tom. Ayan, it's considered, um, yun, yun yung ginagamit, yung t tem uh, tem them blend, okay? So, ano ba yan? Parang hindi ko siya na-explain ng maigi. So, y pag sinabi nating tem them blend, it's either T-E-M or T-O-M yung ginamit na word, okay? So, parang it's up to you again, para, um, it's up to your, um, uh, tawag dito, common sense kung paano nyo siya, kung ano yung word na gagamitin. Of course, your, tulad ng item, alangan namang sabihin mong item yon right? But tulad ng tomorrow, alangan namang sabihin mong temero, temoro yon wala namang ganong word. So, ayan, as I've said, common sense. Diba? Madali namang i-analyze yan eh. As, um, especially if you've been um, with me throughout this um, lessons that we had, um, I'm sure na medyo na medyo um, able na kayo na na i-distinguish yung mga words na kinakailangan ninyo doon sa sentence. Tama? So, ayan. Let's try item. So, we have I. Mm -hmm. Let's have I. Then, them. Ano ba yan? Ang pangit. We have I. Them. Okay. Next, we have items. I. Thems. Temper. So, we have them. Dapat curve line ito ha. We have them. And then, we have per. Tama ba? Yes. Next, we have temporary. So, we have temporary. Um, temporary lang. Wala siyang O. Okay? Wala siyang O. Temporary. So, we have tem. The tem them blend. And then, we have the pra. And then, we have the re. Temporary. Oops. I'm sorry. Wala pa pala siyang. Wala pa pala siyang ano. Wala pa pala siyang A. So, nandiyan naman sa inyong module, it's temporary. 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 Okay, so temporary. <laughs> wala, siyang, um, wala siyang O and E. A. Okay, that's temporary. Temporary. <laughs> it's funny. Next, we have tomorrow. So, we have Tom. We have Tom. And then, we have Mo. And then we have row. 
okay so that's how you do tomorrow next we have attempt attempt so we have a tem t attempt walang p silent p next we have attempting so we have a ulit natin a tem ting next estimate so, we have, hindi naman siya estimate, no? It's estimate. So, meron siyang sound of E sa first, and then S, and then TEM, and then 8. Okay, so that's how you do estimate. Next, we have automobile. Automobile. Dito kasi sa kanila, hindi siya automobile. It's automobile. Okay, so we have, hindi pa, another is hindi siya auto, it's auto. So, you write what you hear. So, when you say auto, autumn, it's o, and then tom, o, bill. Okay, so that is how you do automobile. Next, we have customer. So, we have cos, cos, k, u, s, tom, mer. Okay, next, customer. So, we have Cos tom earth a custom we have a cos tom okay so again those are our words for the tem or tom next we have our dem and dom and dams yeah Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, dito din sa dam, hindi lang siya, sa dem, hindi lang siya dem. Meron din tayong damage. So, um, ayan, uh, as long as short na short vowel sound yung ginamit between D and M, yung dem blend ang gagamitin nyo. Not unless it's danger. So, it's day, A, long A yun. So, you have to write the A. Pero dito sa mga short, um, short vowel sounds like A, E, E, O. Um, ayan, ginagamit yung them. Wait, parang mistake ako. Dium. Medium. So, oh my gosh, I'm so wrong. So, inuulit ko, or papalitan ko, or ya update ko yung aking explanation. <laughs> I think as long as it's D and M, and then T and M, ayan, T, M, D, M na magkasunod, which um, has uh, a vowel in between, ang ginagamit is yung tem, dem, blend. Kasi nakik nakita ko dun sa medium eh. Medium. Yung is, um, it's a long vowel sound, it's, which is U. Pero ginamit is yung DM. Tama? So, ayan. As long as you have DM uh, with vowels in between, so you're going to use the tem dem blend. Even in T. TM, um, you're going to use uh, the tem dem blend. Okay? So, ayan. Freedom. We have freedom. So, free is F R and B N. We have F R E dumb freedom. Now, ma'am, bakit nasa baba po yung e? Di ba dapat nasa loob? Okay, so um, yun sinasabi natin na to make it easier for you to write the next um the next stroke. Kaya siya pa baba. Okay? Kasi yung susunod nga na stroke natin is pataas. So, dapat yung E nasa baba. Para nang sa ganun, mas madali mo siyang isulat. So, dun pa rin. Um, though, marami tayong mga rules and regulations. Marami tayong, yeah, mga rules and regulations on how you will write your your um, circles. There is always an exemption to the rules. Like, like di ba sinabi ko kasi na, oh, one time na um, sa mga previous lessons natin na when it's... Um, Kumbaga, a curve line like R and L, you use you put the the, the circle inside. Diba? Pero ngayon kasi, meron na tayong na-add na, na stroke, which is yun, yung, yung mga over TH, ganyan, and then yung tem dem blend. So, for you to be able to write the tem dem blend and the TH easier, dapat um, whatever the stroke is na na um, fina-follow ng inyong circle, it should always um, be on the down part. Nasa baba. 
Okay, as long as yung over TH or yung temdem blend ang gagamitin, your circle or, or yeah, the circle before those stroke, before TH or the temdem blend should stay down. Okay, it takes practice, pero habang ginagawa naman ninyo yun, nasasanay kayo. So, um, time will come na hindi na ninyo kailangang isipin kung saan ba ilalagay yung O, kung sa taas ba o sa baba. Kasi, even me, honestly speaking, medyo nalilito rin ako sometimes. Especially dun sa mga words na hindi ko pa masyadong ginagamit na ini-stroke. Uh, medyo nahihilo pa rin ako, kaya kinakailangan ko pa rin tignan. That's part of learning. Okay, wag, wag, wag ma, ano, tawag dito. Um, wag mawalan ng pag-asa <laughs> joke. Pero, uh, wag, ang tawag doon, don't be annoyed. Yeah, okay, don't be annoyed when, when every now and then you need to check on the, the, the stroke of uh, these words. Because that's part of learning. Okay? So, ayan, ang dami ko na nasabi. Next, we have damage. So, damages. Damage muna. We have damage, dam, pangit talaga. So, we have dam, dam, mage, damage, damage, J. Next, we have damages, dam, mages, demonstrate, demonstrate. So, we have dam, then we have mons, and then we have trade. Okay, so as you can see, we have them, and then we have O, and then N, and then S, and then T, R, A, T. Demonstrate. Okay, next, demonstration. So, we have them on stray shon. Sean, which is which is which is represented by your downward slanting line na maliit for sh okay next we have seldom seldom so we have cell and then dumb next we have medium so we have m e and then dium next we have atoms or atoms yeah atoms we have a and then dumb and then, and then, of course, your capital letter symbol. Next, we have them C, them C. So we have them, and then we have C, and then your capital symbol. Okay, so that is it for your them them blend. Ayan. Now let's move on to our salutations and complementary closing. So, ano ba yung mga salutations and complementary closing? May mga natapos na tayong na-discuss. May mga naipakita na kung paano siya stroke Now, let's just add. Kasi, hindi lang naman yun yung mga, ano eh, complementary closings and ano. So, we have Dear Miss. First, Dear Mister. So, ngayon, na napag-aralan na natin yung D DM, uh, yung Temdem Blend. Dito na pumapasok yung ating shortcut for Dear Mister, which is your Dear Mr. D-M-R. So, yan yung magiging stroke ng Dear Mr. natin starting today. Next, we have Dear Mrs. We have D Mrs. Dear Mrs. Mm. D-M-R-S. Next, we have Dear Miss. We have D-M-E-S. Hindi siya curve line. So, we have D M E. S. Kasi di ba yung dear is represented by your D and then your miss is represented by your M. Or yeah, the capita the starting letter of, of Mr., Mrs., and Miss. Next, we have dear sir. Yung dear sir, since we, wala naman siyang M doon, wala, wala, hindi, siya, <laughs> hindi siya represented by your DM. It's going to be represented by your D and S. So that's how you do dear sir. Next, we have dear madam. Dear Madam is an exemption to the rule. Kaya yung Dear Madam natin is represented by your D and M. Okay? So, that is how you stroke Dear Madam. Now, we have Very Truly Yours. So, this is a Very Truly Yours. You're just going to write. This is a brief form phrase. And you're going to only write the, the starting letters of each word, which is yung ating V, T, U. So that is how you stroke very truly yours. And the Lino. Next, yours very truly. So you have 
yours, which is represented by your U stroke or your UU, and then derecho na sa V, and then we have T. So, parang number to siya. So, that is how you do um, yours very truly. Now, cordially yours is represented by your C, and then, of course, your U symbol, which is a brief form, yung U yours, okay? So, that is how you write your complementary closings and salutations for letters, okay? So, ayan, I hope you were able to do it right. Next, medyo mahaba-haba yung ating magiging discussion ngayon. Next, we have the con and com words. So, an ayan, another um, shortcut. Another shortcut stroke. Con. Con and com is represented by your C or your K. Your K stroke, which is a um, downward curve. Tama? So, ayan. So, sinabi ko na. Ulit ko lang, uulitin ko lang that your con and com is represented by your downward curve that is representing yung ating letter K. So, ganyan. Diba? We have U, we have C, ay, we have K, and then we have G. So, yun. Yung nasa gitna na medyo maliit. Yan. Yan yung magre-represent ng ating con. So, now, let's try control. 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 So, we have con. We have con. And then, we have T-R-O-L. Control. Next, we have contract. Con. And then, T. R. A. K. T. Contract. Pero, no. Wrong pala siya. Wala pala siyang contract. Diba yan? Con, T, R, C, T. That is how you do contract. 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 <laughs> Wala siyang A. Okay? Wala siyang A. So, it's just contract. That's omitting. We omit the letter A doon. It, it should not make a sound when you pronounce it. So, it's contract. Ah, whatever. Next, we have contracts. Contracts. Con, trucks. With S. Okay, next we have conduct. Conduct. So we have con, and then we have D, and then we have U, and then we have C, and T. Conduct. K and T. Next we have consider. Consider. So we have con, and then we have S, E for C, and then we have D and R for DER. So that is how you do consider. Next we have consideration. So we have con. C, ano ba yan? Con, C, Der, Der, nasan na? Der, Re, Sean. Okay, so that is how you do consideration. Next, we have concern. Concern is represented by your con, and then your, bakit? Con, Cern. Okay, so we have con, and then we have your left S, and then we have your E, R, N, N. Next, we have conference. Con, fur, conference, conference. Yan, conference. Next, we have conservation. Oh, conversation pala. So, we have con and then V and then E-R-S-A-N. Conversation. Okay. So, now let's move on to our com words. Com words. The same. Na, si, or yung K stroke ang nagra-represent kay com words. Parehas. So, first we have complain. Complain. So, we have com. We have com. And then plain. P-L-A-N. Habaan natin yung ating L. Com. 
plane ulit com com plane okay next we have complete com complete next we have completely com completely ay i'm sorry baliktad pala com completely okay next we have completion completion compare we have com and then p a r compare next we have comparing so we have com and then pair and then your ing next compile so we have com we have pile next combine so we have com and then we have b and then we have i and then we have n so that is how you show combine okay next we have combines com binds mm. okay so again that is how you stroke your strokes for co that is how we stroke the words that has the beginning of con and com so you know lit co these are um, you use the con and com um, stroke only when the con and com is located at the beginning of the word. Okay? So, tsaka mo lang siya gagamitin na ganyan. Next, we have um, yung mga exemption to the rules ulit. Con um, exemption to the rules. Bakit siya tinawag na exemption to the rules? Kasi yung ginawa natin kanina are the words that has um, kumbaga single N and M. Pero kapag ka, there is in, in the spelling, it has a double N and double M. You have to write the other M and the other N. Okay, so for example, yung ating connect. Connect, we have con. And then, of course, you write your neck. Okay, next we have connection. So you have your con and then your neck and then your shon. Committee. So we have your com and then we have your meet and then your t. Tama ba? Yeah. And then next we have commerce. We have your com and then we have your merse. Nakikita ba ninyo? Kasi nga yung spelling natin is double M. Ko and then it's it's um, preceded or followed by uh, M na double and then N na double. So, you have to write the other N and the other M. Next, we have accommodate. A com. Wait, let me check. Baka magkamali ulit ako. Ako mo date. Okay, next we have accommodation. A com mo de shon ay no wala pala siyang a you see a com mo de shon so that is how you stroke accommodation and another thing um i said a while ago that you're just going to use the con com at the beginning of the word but as you can see here meron na naman tayong um a and then com so as i've said there's always an exemption to the rule okay so um ayan um next let's move on i hope you were able to to get it right yung ating mga strokes Anyway, nandiyan naman sa inyong mga module kung paano siya i-stroke, di ba? You, you only need to copy. Pero yung kung bakit ko kasi siya video is for me to be able to show you how you will write it. Kasi di ba, there are instances na, oo, nakita mo nga na ganyan yung strokes niya, but the way you're going to write it is different. Pwedeng nagsisimula ka sa last or pwedeng paputol-putol yung, yung pagsulat mo, which is um, hindi dapat. Kasi nga, um, uh, one... One technique that, um, or kung ano yung pinupush ng, hindi naman pinupush, um, 
paano ba i-explain? Kung bakit nagiging mabilis yung pagsulat when using steno writing or stenography is that um, yung continuous writing. You do not have, you, you limit the, the way or you limit the lifting of the pen when you are writing. So that is why medyo mabilis or, or nakakabilis ka ng pagsulat. Okay? So, ayan. Next, let's move on to our next um, stroke which is your TH. The TH stroke. So, this TH here is yung ating um, under, under TH. So, okay, para malinaw, uh, ngayon na nandito na tayo sa TH. Um, explain ko lang kung paano. This is uh, a technique that I learned from my instructor when I was uh, also undergrad. Nung, tin, um, nung nasa college ako for stenography. So, yung tinuro niya is, this is, if this is your circle and you divide your circle into um, a horizontal line, yung nasa taas is your UUKG. And then, yung nasa baba is your ORL. So, the difference between this is the length. Okay? Next, so, kung yung UUKG ninyo, meron siyang U, and then meron siyang second, and then dito rin, may ganyan. Okay? And then next, the circle is divided into, or divided vertically. So, here is your SFV, and here is your SPB. Okay? Um, S, the smallest or the shortest, and then P is the next, and then B is the longest of them. Ganon din yung S, F, V. S is the shortest, F is a little bit bigger, and then your V is the parenthesis or the closing parenthesis. Next, we have when you um, divide the, the circle... Nang ganyan, <laughs> ano, anong, anong line yan? We have your over TH, over TH, and your under TH. Okay, so these are the symbols para nang sa ganon, hindi ninyo malipat, malipatan, hindi ninyo makalimutan yung inyong mga stroke. Okay, so we are done uh, learning about the over TH. Um, nagagamit na rin natin ito for with and then for the uh, marami pang iba marami pa tayong na words na, na ano, is, um, scan na lang ninyo yung inyong mga notes or yung inyong mga modules kung um, meron pa so dito naman ngayon we're going to use the under th okay so ayan so though is represented by your under TH and then your U. So, ma'am, paano po malalaman kung over TH or under TH yung um, stroke? Uh, ayan. Paano mo siya malalaman? Ako, kung paano ko siya nalaman, minemorize ko kasi siya. <laughs> Oo, minemorize ko kasi siya. Pero sabi dyan, just as we have two S symbol to facilitate fluent joining to other symbols, we have two TH symbols for the same reason. The TH you learned on the previous lesson is called the over TH and now the under TH mirrors the... Oh, ayan. So, wala siyang explain kung bakit. So, sa akin, when, when I'm <laughs> learning uh, this, para yeah, minemorize ko siya. So, yun, i-memorize na lang din ninyo. <laughs> Hindi, pero uh, yun nga sinabi ko. As you use this things here habang nag stroke kayo na nakakabesa din ninyo yan so we have thought T H O T under T H O T and then we have those under T H O S and then we have through or through so we have T H R U and then health we have E L TH, idiretso mo na yung health. And then we have healthy. Hindi pala siya dinidiretso. Health. Then we have healthy. E, ano ba yan? E, L, T, H, E. And then we have H. Next, clothes. Clothes. We have C, 
and then L and then O and then THS clothes next we have clothing clothing so we have K L O T H and then your I N G I'm sorry ito palang clothes is siya na yung dinederecho we have C L O C L O T H S then we have clothing C L O T H and then I N G next we have thorough thero T H E R O thero hindi siya thorough it's thero next we have both B U T H and then growth we have G R O T H then we have a wealth well and then th okay so ano yung napansin ninyo dito sa ating mga strokes so if your stroke or um kung yung stroke na th is uh before a curve line which is your r l and u dun mo ginagamit yung ating um, under th and same is true kapag ka yung th is um, followed by your R or yung mga curved lines din natin which is yung um, you like through like though diba? T um, curve line yung susunod sa TH which is yung ating U or yung ating O O stroke which is an upward hook tama? so ngayon yung TH ninyo sa baba kasi nga upward um, kumbaga upward curve yung susunod ganon din yung thought um, TH and then upward curve and then T. So, under TH yung ginamit. Ganon din yung those. Those, TH and then upward curve ulit which is yung ating O and then S. So, as you can see here, kung, kung um, uh, yung susunod na, na letter dun sa TH is a uh, curve line or upward curve, ang ginagamit natin is yung under TH. And same is true kapag ka yung sinusundan na, na stroke ng ating TH is another curve line, under TH din yung ginagamit. Okay? So, I hope I was able to, to explain um, when to use the under TH and the over TH. Next. Next. And lastly. Lastly for this um, lesson, we have yung ating RE. The re words in the beginning of a word. Ah, the re sound in the beginning of a word. Okay? So, re. Now, re is represented by yung ating r stroke. So, yung ating r stroke. Now, let me explain this first. You only use the r stroke to represent the re if the next stroke is a downward stroke. So, for example, reject. We have reject, right? So, re, and then downward hook, and then C and T. Reject. But, for example, relate. You say re, late. You, um, remain. Re, main. Okay? So, you only use the R to represent Re if the next stroke is a downward stroke. So, for example, ano ba yung mga downward stroke natin? Yung ating SH, CH, and yung ating J. ba? Downward stroke yan. And then, meron din tayo ng ating SPB, which is S... I am sorry, baliktad. We have S and then P and then B. So, downward stroke din yan. And then, we have yung ating, dito na sa gilid, we have S, F, V, downward stroke din ang mga ito. Okay? So, only if these are the strokes that comes after yung ating re na sound, that is the only time that you're going to use yung R to represent yung ating re. Okay? So, let's try replace. We have re. And then place, P-L-A-S. Reply, we have, we have re, 
and then ply. Malaki masyado. We have re and then ply. Next, we have reply. So, we have re plies. Repair. Re and then pair. Research. We have re and then we have wait. Let me check see, check yung ating research kasi baka magkamali ako. Ayan, tama. Research. Re we have research. Ulitin natin. So, we have research. Re search. Next, we have receive. Re receive. So, we have re and then receive. Next, we have received. Re Received. Next, we have a refer. Re fur. Next, we have referring. Re fur ring. Next, we have reference. Re fur rents. Next, we have a reason. A reason. So we have re, and then we have. Sun. Okay, so that's it for our vre. And we still have here the explanation for or the example of those words that you do not use the R to represent your re. So, ayan. I-cover na lang natin itong mga to. Tinamad na daw ako. Hindi naman, pero para makita kasi ninyo na kung paano siya ginagawa or kung ano yung difference, okay? So, as I've said a while ago, you only use the re or the r to represent your re sound if your next stroke to re is a downward downward stroke. Pero kapag ka forward stroke or, or upward strokes, um, you have to write the e. So, for example, yung ating relate, as I've said a while ago, we have r, e, L-A-T. Okay, ulitin natin. We put the E. R-E-L-A-T. The same is true with remain. We have re main. Retire. Re re Okay, so as you can see, the next um, stroke for re, or the next stroke after re in this um, last three um, last three words that I stroked are it's either forward um, forward curve line or forward slipping line and then upward slanting line. So when these strokes comes after the re, you have to write the e. Diba, madali lang siyang, ano, madali lang siyang iintindihin kasi as long as the next, the next, as long as the next stroke um, to re is a downward stroke, then you use the R to represent the re sound. The re, kung hindi siya downward stroke, then you put E on it. Okay. So, ayan, I hope I was able to help you understand kung ano yung nandyan, nandyan sa inyong module. If you have any question, any clarification, any suggestion, please feel free to message me via Messenger because I think this is the end of our um, lessons for midterm. So the next week for this um, week is your examination week for midterm. So I hope you're going to come here in school and of course pay your dues so that you will be able to have your permit to take the exams. So, um, ayan, a reminder for exams, you have to finish all of your modules, all of your, not all of your modules, all of your requirements, and of course, you have to submit your um, stenopad bago po, bago ko kayo payagang mag-exam. And of course, dapat yung stenopad ninyo kompleto. Okay, so that's it. I hope to see you in our next video, which will be on the week 13. See you guys. Good day and God bless.